garden shack space saver basically you just put a big plank on the side of your garden shack and you put nails on it and then you can put all your tools properly placed visible at all times some piece of equipment like this broom will not be holding but the trick is you just drill a hole you drill a slanted hole through it so you can see through and you just put a nail with this the advantage is no it perfectly holds on the wall and doesn't take any floor space here we're talking about the nice shelf it's held by a bolt and a washer under a bolt and a washer on the top of the piece of wood which is a 2x3 that is cut into two parts and it's also held at the ceiling by another piece of wood in which you find a bolt and a washer the piece of wood at the top is screwed directly into the truss of the ceiling remember also that the cover wood is 7 16 of an inch thick and using the truss in the ceiling you can hold up to 150 pounds per shelf without any problem now the shelf are made of 716 thick wood on the top of it there is an half of a 2 by 3 the advantage of that you could get rounded edge and on the top of it everything you put on the shelf stay on the shelf doesn't fall to the floor if anything vibrates or move inside the garden the rod holding the shelf to the ceiling are 3 8 of an inch diameter you can find them at your local hardware store as a side note put all your combustible fuel inside your garden shack which means gas camping stove gas camping stove nafta so if something wrong happen your garden shack will take the hit and you will save your house as you can see there is also a piece of wood going from one shelf to the other there is two little piece of wood on the side of the shelf that held the thing and also a piece of wood under that piece of that piece of wood we call the bridge that prevent it from sliding off the two shelves. So the two little one on the side prevent that piece of wood to go sideways and the end piece of wood prevent that piece of wood to go off the shelf. The other end are held by a shelf on the other end of the garden shack. As you can see, you can walk under the bridge and you can walk under the shelf. This is very important so you don't hurt your head. So now you can see as I pan out that under the bridge there is enough room to walk without being hindered by either the shelf or by the bridge. Under the shelf you see also a piece of wood. That piece of wood is holding the other side of the shelf to the wall. Here because it's used 7 16 of an inch wood it can be screwed directly to the wood. If it's thinner, you need to use the truss of the side of your garden shack. Another thing you can see here is the end shelf are not all the same length. You're not forced to put the rod at the end of the shelf. You can use your imagination and put it at different place to suit your needs. Here you see an adapter that allows to increase the length of the rod. Now you can see a nice L-shaped shelf that is above your head that doesn't take any space in your garden shack and that allow you to store many things and also have a nice border that prevent things from falling to the ground if anything shake inside that garden shack which is also a very important item for personal safety while doing so you can also use 2x3's cut them into small pieces 
and you can make a nice finish to your garden shack for almost nothing.